Welcome back everyone. We are here at the Predator WPA Women 10 Ball World Championship held in Klagenfurt, Austria. We are having here a losers round 2 match now between Ivan Ullmann Hibler from Germany and Rita Schu, the defending champion. In the booth for commentating we have Tim Reuter and myself, Benjamin Belhausen. This is a race to 7, alternate breaks, WPA rules. Players are lagging from the break. Yeah, yeah, Rita Chow, also Chi Yu Chow, I think that's yeah. her, yeah, her original name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But everybody knows her as Rita. Rita Shu, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she lost earlier today to Rubilen Amit, 7 6. Also one of the favorites, one of the Yeah, top well, one players. of the yeah, former world champion, so you can understand this defeat. Um, I think she will be a pretty big favorite in this match though but I gotta say that I'm not really familiar with Yvonne's style of play yet so yeah. I mean I just haven't really gotten the chance to look at it so we're gonna find out soon yeah race to seven alternate break she won the lag so Both players have been playing already in this event, so they get a little bit used to the tables and the balls and the arena, so... I'm sure the defending champion will be motivated to, to go through the one loss side, back to the last 16 single elimination. For, for as a reminder, it's double elimination format till the last 16, where it will become race to nine, single elimination. Pretty yeah, square hit. Here. Lose around one match, and then they need to win. If the winner of this will need to win two more matches to get to the last 16 players, well that's a long way to go. Yeah. Dry break here from uh, Ullmann Hibla. An open shot on the one for sure. Oh. Well, that was quite unexpected there. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't be too upset because the run out is really difficult, so I might actually like it if someone else tries it first. <laughs> yeah, actually, we had a pretty big cluster here with the 3, 4 and 7 ball. Yeah, also the 6 doesn't pass the 8, so tough layout here. Yeah, she went for the 1 ball, turned out to be safe, so Rita has to kick here. Good thing is she might, if, if she makes it, she might bump the six or the nine and get on the two, so could be pretty good news for her. Decent hit, pretty good result, I think. Looks like she has an open shot on the one. Well, it's going to depend on how thick she can hit it, though. If she is hitting it real thin, she might scratch in the corner. Yeah, that's why she put that little spin on there, because yeah. I think she's trying not to scratch. Looks like both players don't really want to start this wreck so far. So open the six ball now. Just a three seven four is still tough. <laughs> yeah, still on as I have an open shot. She's looking at the combo now, but it I mean it's a really tough combo and you, you're not sure to get a shot on the on the one then. Yeah, after there's there's not so much future in the combo I feel. Oh she made oh, it great. Oh the Q ball. That was a great attempt. 
I mean, she controlled the one ball pretty nice. Yeah, she did a good job on the one ball. It's just that the, we knew the cue ball was always going to track down table and... So now is she able to maybe play the short side of the three? If you get straight on the three, you draw back a little bit. You can shoot the four also in the corner, and then yeah, you've it solved it. It could be great. Or you open it up, but well, perfect. I mean, if it if it's always like this, you know, so easy. <laughs> no, she she played a great shot there. Yeah, lovely speed. Still a couple hiccups though. The getting to, to the, the six. Yeah. yeah, getting to the six is a little tricky. She's going two rails here, always running towards her next shot. This is the shot where she really needs to make sure she gets a nice angle on the five. Catching. That's the why she's line. playing the two rails. I like stunning the cue ball though. Just stun, hair of right spin, go in between the the uh, the eight and the seven mm -hmm. to cross over. Well, she would try to go to the short side. She hit that little firm. She still has a shot though if she yeah. likes to. But kind of surprised she went this way because she's crossing her positional area quite a bit yeah. playing it this way. I would have done the shot you, you called, that means stun with a little bit of right. She's playing the safety behind the nine, I think. She executed pretty good. No jump. Yeah, she made sure not to at least give a jump. Would have been even nicer if she took away both long rail kicks, if she could get a little bit closer but True. then still there is a lot of space on the table and I feel this six ball is pretty easy to sell out yeah uh, there's so much open space and I wouldn't see like maybe if you try to play with some base and try to separate them maybe you get lucky but yeah yeah try to use the right speed so that if you if you get a thick hit then you could get distance between the balls Actually, you can use a line and uh, try try to make the um, the six ball in the corner, but it's gonna be close. Now. High ball, left. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> she finally ma made made a illegal hit, so that's good. Yeah, sure, wasn't <laughs> trying to do that, but it works. Just came up a little short. I think just because of the pace, he kind of snapped it, so yeah. really made it very short. It's all right, though. She called the bank. Ooh, a little wide. Yeah, because she uses low ball. She draw the ball, so the, the six ball took a little bit of a follow, so it widened the angle. That's why she missed it, like... So first real opportunity for Yvonne Ullmann, married to Hebler, Roman Hebler yeah. from Czech Republic. Not easy. Yeah, also, you see she was trying to hold the cue ball with bumping the nine. That's also the reason why I think she's missed the six. You're so focused on getting the, the kiss. True. She can, yeah, I was going to say she can cut this in the side and go two rails. Hmm. Also, she's gone. She she had a similar shot like this earlier against Ruby Land, and she did the same thing. Like, she got in between. 50 like, this yard is, line. Yeah, this is like shooting to the corner. It's not comfortable. And shooting to the side is also... Yeah. Bo both are not easy. She has to let the stroke out a little bit. So this is the type of situation where you want to to find something to do. 
Oh, she's going for the bank. Yeah. I just don't see her getting on the eight. She'll have to play it so firm. Yeah. And then with that speed, she's most likely not to make the bank. Like, it's really tough, usually, big speed. Good try, man. I would have tried to, to send the cue ball towards the nine. I mean, cutting the seven and try, I to, like that. try to create distance. And Yeah, well, this is... She now really left a <laughs> great chance for Joe. Did end up on the rail though. Like it, she looks a little off. Like uh, for for the beginning of this match, she's yeah. looking like the cue ball's losing the speed everywhere, and it's picking up speed from the rails. And uh, I don't know. Oh. Shaky start for both players. It's never easy. I I try to keep this in my mind when you're in the booth or watching. It's not the same as when you're in the arena playing. You don't feel the pressure. Yeah, and also you don't really feel the same as the what the players feel too. Like, you know, playing in front of a crowd or in a big arena or knowing there's going to be thousands of people watching you it really is different you know and it can be great you know when you when you're playing good you feel amazing but then w the other day when you start to struggle yeah you feel embarrassed there's so many different emotions, emotions yeah. coming and those are usually tough to handle so sure. So first game goes to Chu. Will be interesting. We have the player ceremony for the juniors tonight. Tomorrow starts the World Junior Championships and very excited to get to see the young upcoming players. I know some of them already, but you know there's always new faces and yeah. We have three divisions. Under 19 boys, under 17 boys, and girls. And it's going to be, yeah, great to see new faces, as you said. I mean, they're the future, so should be paying a little attention. We might yeah, get to yeah. know a couple things about them. As you said, when you are doing tournaments, you know not all of them, but some of them. It's breaking from the, the center. Try to get a big pop here. Yeah, interesting to see she's breaking from the center. As early match, she was breaking from the side rail. Oh, eight ball. No. That was a pretty good break. Pretty solid hit. Yeah, actually, she controlled the cue ball pretty decent. Pretty square hit. Just yeah, not that much threatening any pockets. Yeah. Open shot on the one. Just wondering, I don't think the three ball does go. So then we could be in for another, well, not scrappy, but for another, oh, more difficult run out. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think it's not going anywhere. Maybe plan to play a safe out of it or try to go into it, but the position of the two is really tricky. Yeah, and also you will need a decent angle on that same two ball to do something with the three. I like the safety here. She's going attacking. Mm. Ooh. She's oh, okay, I think yeah, no, I think she bumped the five and then the oh cue really? ball just tipped over. Wow. Then she's in trouble. I thought she was straight in. And also if she's straight in then still yeah. not sure about the three. See it's like it's really close though. Yeah. If she's straight in, if she can pocket the two, then she'll draw back and play safe out of the three, I think. Okay, so it was still there. Yeah, I think she drew too much. Yeah, I would have liked to be a little shorter there. She played this left-handed. I don't even... I can't even draw the cue ball left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it's hard to tell if it goes or not. Maybe pocket speed. Maybe it can Maybe. still slide in if yeah. she. Oh no, not safe. Okay, using the four. I don't think she got the save though. Mm. So now try to create distance between the balls. I think I would try to bank the three ball towards the four and get the cue ball to run three yeah. rails into the ten. Maybe soft. Yeah. I think I would like that shot. But she went to go aggressive and go for the bank. And it turned out to be kind of decent with how the five seven ended yeah. up. That was a tough shot. Just a little bit too wide. and Well, she was also trying to get to the bottom side of the four to be able to run into the five. So, yeah, the thing tricky is shot. The thing is, the four ball doesn't pass the six. And the five ball is in a trap with the seven. So, that's a hell of a layout. Good stroke here. Yeah, just was trying to get a little bit more draw on the cue ball probably. She yeah. she didn't really go long through the ball, so let's see. I think she's gonna be playing safe. She just opted for a more a containing one. Containing safety, yeah. I mean you have to be patient patient because five and seven are really locked. There is no really solution. I like cutting the four underneath the five seven and hopefully get the cue ball two rails under the six. Yeah. I do like that one. Just like this. Very tough to judge and Wow. I think she got yeah, it. Yeah, I think she, she got hit that it. really yeah. great. Yeah. Great shot. And also because she put the four next to the five seven, the odds are most likely that Yvonne is gonna break him up. Yeah. So True. She's jumping here. Oh, if she has the jump, then if the jump is on, then she, she might be able cut. to yeah. to not open the five seven up. I think that that would be my best odds. Oh, yeah, she could have cut the four ball and send it towards the end rail. Yeah, not this. She just. Barely got over the six. Yeah. And also opened up the Actually seven the six five. was close. Yeah, it was it's it looks really easy. You're like, oh it's just a little piece, but sometimes if you don't accelerate enough then it still catches you. Also I don't know if they if they are used to the shot clock, which is a big deal. Because if you're not used to it, then you're kind of in a rush every time. And you can't calm down and slow down a little bit. She's not happy here, though. She would have liked to be more straight. Yeah. I think she will have to run into the 7. Not, not too firm, but just a soft bump. Yeah. You will have the 7 to the side or the top right corner, I'm guessing. Try to create something, yeah. Was she was trying to hold the cue ball. Wow, she hit it good. Yeah. I was going to say, I really don't like to shoot it this way, yeah. but she's done a great job. Just stop spin, maybe a hair of left to get to the center of the table. Oh, she's playing draw. She's really, like, she really looks like she wants to ha let that stroke out all the time. Yeah, I like it. Because that's the way you build confidence. That's a good shot to want to stay underneath the, the 9. It's much more easier to create the angle to go on the 10.
So, good run out still. Played some good angles. Starting to loosen up a little bit. Like she shook off the, m the mistakes in the first yeah. rack and now she's starting to look more comfortable. So, 2 0 for Chi Yu Chu. I think it's Chu, it's not Chow. I think it's Chu, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I would say Rita. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of Taiwanese player. Men and women. Strong, strong country. Those events are played on Predator Apex 9 for tables, Arena Lights, Predator Arcos 2 balls, the best equipment in the business so far. The setup is really great and we are hosting here five world championships. Oh, she put a lot of oomph in there. Yeah, actually. Just the eight caught the point of the side pocket. Came up dry and... I mean, he hit was square. Just a little lack of energy into the balls. It's just I feel breaking from the center has not been working so great already. Like, just couple breaks so far. I really like going to the side soon. Yeah. Or at least when I see the break is going this way, I'm going to try and move around. Right. So she, ro she rolled out to the short rail. Push out for safety. This is a difficult one though. Yeah. Can she sh shoot the one off the seven to the left long rail and bring the cue ball behind the ten? A pretty full contact, maybe. Yeah, that could be great. She nice shot. Yeah, yeah she good did shot. Something simple and efficient. Just try to protect the one ball, whatever happens. And it, it's a good safety. That can be jumped, but. The yeah, that's all. That's the only thing she couldn't really take care of because she was not gonna stick the cue ball. Yeah. Oh, caught a little roll there. Yeah, she got away with it. I mean, she was trying to catch the right side and probably get the cue ball up table, but of Maybe course yeah. she bumped the five. She was bumped the nine, so. There is some fortune there. Yeah, at least she she had a goal, I think, which was to catch the one ball on the right side and create distance. So that's what she did. That's a good hit because she didn't see the the totally. Yeah, one she couldn't see the, the whole ball. Yeah, yeah. She couldn't see the whole ball. So that was a pretty good hit. Yeah, the only thing, uh, then again, is she couldn't really get that one ball out easy. Like, it was tough. She couldn't see the whole ball. And ooh, there might be a little window here. Maybe. Or at least, you know, even if she can make it, she can overcut the one and yeah. pl play a good safety maybe behind the eight or behind the three. There's many lines. Yeah. The thing is you have to avoid the, the double kiss. So if she can maybe s curve a little bit, oh, she can hit it, okay. So then the three ball comes into play. Oh. Okay, opportunity for shoe. Have to consider the four, six combination. Yeah, I think the combination is all right though. Yeah. They're not too far apart and play pocket speed, you should be fine. Pretty dead, yeah. And also with where the five ball is, I, you don't really have to 
do much on that. The only thing I don't like so far is the seven. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, because then you, the good thing, good news is you can use the um, the four six combination to stay on the right side of the five to pick up the seven on the l on the lower side. Yeah, if she can get, if she can play draw on this three ball and get closer to the combination, then yeah. everything does lay nice though. Like it's really connected. Whoa! Oh, I said just she a little draw though. Yeah, she <laughs> hit it too good actually. Yeah. She could still go aggressive if she wants to, but kind of got strange. Yeah. Cuba will, uh, Cuba is gonna track towards the seven or the eight, so I think she's gonna play safe to and leave the cue ball use the seven and the eight, yeah, just like that. That's a great shot. I mean, couldn't oh have hit look any at this cue ball! This. What a shot from Chiu Chu. Perfect cue ball control going yeah. one rail, two rail, and then three rails. Glue the cue ball behind the eight. This is gonna be tough. Maybe three rails, maybe two rails. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. Oh, she create another problem. The five and the six are tied up. Ball in hand on the four and see what she's gonna do. She she's considering playing three fouls, maybe. Oh, a little firm. Still open shot, but yeah, the, the yeah the tough thing is, of course, she's gonna be disappointed not to get the save, but she also knows it was not a wreck losing shot. Yeah. Like it's not gonna determine whether she wins this wreck or not. That's a good shot there. I mean, play, what it, play what it two ways. Yeah. yeah. And what else can you do? She tried to maybe send the four ball near the problem so that she can break it later. Well, she's called a four ball in the corner, though. Don't think it four passes, but maybe into the rail off the eight. Oh well. What a nice shot. Straight in the hole. I mean, no reward, but what a nice shot that was. Well, at least she's not giving ball in hand yeah. and a chance for Rita to open up the five. Yeah. So now she could go two rails, like softer, try to clip the five and stay behind the 6-10. But it's really a it's touchy shot. It's either that or f play very conservative and just play soft on into the five. Yeah. Oh, well, I think she might have been really close. Yeah, the thing is now sh you can run the cue ball into the six and stay behind the ten, you know. So, oh, she's going to cut it. Mm. Get the oh. cue ball maybe all the way behind the eight again. Wow. Oh, she caught that really thick, so she yeah. will need to cue ball to go and... Yeah, at least you create distance, and I don't know if the five ball passes the seven. She left a, l she left a long, tough shot. Still makeable, but tough one.
Yeah, that was that I one. Just got the safe about. here. Yeah. Here is Roman Hübler. Just won against Pius Lebutis in the women in the men World Eight Ball Championship. I think he will play the loser qualification tonight. What a great shot that was. This is a kick safety. Very smart. Will be tough to get this one safe as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Maybe two rails, two rails off the five. Yeah, we have one more round later tonight. Table one, we will have David Arcaide and Ralph Souquet. This is a really good match in the World 8-Ball Championship. Oh, caught the bottom side and... Oh, turned out to be okay, but I feel she's gonna be coming back glued to the 7-Ball. <laughs> yeah. That would be the shot. Uh, this shot is on, yeah. One wheel, two wheel on table side. two, we have Shane Van Boning playing Daniel Gutenberger, which is another nice match as well. I mean, we've got plenty of good matches, though. Um, Roman Hebler is now playing Viktor Zelensky, which is a strong match, too. Many yeah. good players still in the field. Kachi playing Dimitri Jungo. Oh, well, it's Claudio Kachi. This is to enter the last 32, right? Yeah. Yeah, th those are really big matches. Oh. It actually got a little tricky. Like, I would not know how to play shape on the six. Can she draw straight back or can she miss the nine going forward? Maybe use the nine to get off the rail? Looks like she has a slightly angle on the six that leads her to the seven, so it's not gonna be easy. Well, also jacking up, also queuing jacking like this. Up, yeah. Like to hit the ball, now she's gotta play really soft or very hard, so. Not easy. She actually put a pretty decent stroke on there. It's just, yeah. she didn't have enough angle to really get that yeah, shot she going. Yeah, she couldn't have it any better than this. I mean, regarding the position of the balls. Oh, she's going all in, trying to make the bank. It's not there, and that cue ball might be. Yeah, it might be just okay, though. I don't think she's left the seven on. Maybe she played it a little bit two way, though. Yeah. Just maybe. to bring the cue ball to the right yeah, long yeah. rail and hopefully not leave something easy. Oh, I thought it was too close to jump, but. She calls the bank. Wow, what a hit. That was a good attempt. And she's got she got rewarded with this well, yeah. Really good try. Here the gem cue again. This is touchy because the cue ball has to stay on the table. So you really have to control the speed of the shot. Oh. 
Yeah, not really much to do here though. It was a battle on the seven ball, most of it. Yeah. Soft draw. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be three nil. Yeah, things are not going really well for Ullmann Hibbler. On the other side, the opportunity she has been giving Rita Chu, she's mainly been running out too, so yeah, she's not getting a lot of time and room to get in stroke. Yeah, that was pretty much of a s safety battle at the beginning of this rack with the push outs and a lot of jumps. Yeah, so we started with 48 of the best female players from around the world. Races to seven, like you mentioned in the first couple rounds then when we get last 16 it's going to be raised to nine and the winner gets fifty thousand dollars to where last year the winner got thirty thousand dollars so they almost doubled the prize money this is huge also for a long period of time there never was a very huge tour for ladies to play in of course, you have the WPBA tour in the US, so most mm -hmm. of the ladies that do play that, but you know, it's not really too many events. Yeah, and how with the Predator probably it's series. Yeah, I get, I get yeah. to see so many of the best female players in the world. They come over so often. There's many events. They get look, used they to look more wel wealthy yeah. also. So. That was a hell of a break, and uh, nothing went in. Yeah, it's just that break from the center. I just feel like the seven ball is coming up too high because you're trying to crush the break. Yeah. And then everything, it looks a little dull. Oh, a good chance for Ivona Ullmann to maybe get something going. She's got a little in between here though. Yeah. Would have liked to go a little further or to go a little shorter. Can she go around the three? I think she yeah. can maybe play a little bit of right spin though, but Oh friendly bump. She's still on the three. Still okay, yeah. Just now you might go one rail to to the left side of the table, to the left long rail. Yeah. Just make sure you stay off the rail. It's a pretty thin hit, actually. Yeah, you just don't want to be clued to this rail. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, and now it's tough again. Because it looks like if she's going to make the four, she's tracking to that bottom right corner. Yeah, uh, where the six is. Maybe she can avoid the six going one, two rails. Oh, she's jacking up. Wow. This is so tough, though. Yeah. Whoa. But is she going to get... Yeah. Yes. Especially jacking up like that, it's so difficult to judge the speed. Yeah, to control. So uh, the only yeah. thing I was guessing, maybe if she p had played with more spin and go around the seven. Yeah, or maybe like into that. the eight. But I, uh, it's so difficult. Yeah. She might still play the five nine combo though, or shoot the five in the corner pocket. Extension yeah. Anyway, I don't see any any clear safety here. Yeah, it might be go time. I think if she makes the five, she's gonna 
end up with a pretty decent shot. The five is going to track down a little bit. I think she's pretty straight here. And then if she's straight, that's a problem. It's actually tough to get to the six. I yeah. think she's just okay. Maybe cheat the pocket a bit and then wait full draw. But or a stop shot and take the cut on the six also. Whoa. Yeah, nice that swing. Nice, yeah. Nice shot. Now it's pretty much two rails go to the center of the table. Or you can go one rail or so. Oh okay, she played yeah. I thought the seven ball was lower. Well, she's just gonna float this in or play a stop shot, take a little bit more cut on the eight, but I don't see a reason to really force the cue ball much more. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, then again, I feel Yvonne is also most of the time clearing all the the hard work for Rita to, in the end, make the yeah. five or six open balls. Which she does pretty well. So this to get a 4-0 lead. So we'll go for a short little break and we'll be right back for y'all. And we are back here at the WPA and Predator World Temple Championship. Women Championship. First round on the loser side. Ivona Ullmann Hebler in trouble. Trailing 4 0 to Rita Chow here. And the defending champion. Oh, well, Temple on the break. That that's not happening often. Yeah, it's we, we are playing not the Pro Bid series rules, but the WPA rules. So that means the early tens don't count, anyways, and also not with combinations. So in this case, yeah, she can just continue. Doesn't have an open shot on the one though, or if she cuts it to the top right corner in this view, then she does have an open shot. But it's kind of difficult. Yeah, she was trying to get the cue ball behind the two and 
I think she's still got the hook though. Yeah. But she, m she might have left a jump. Which in this case, she would like to stop the ball, stop the cue ball to the one ball and send the one ball up table. Which would be great. Yeah, so much traffic, you almost would favor her to yeah. get lucky and get safe. Yeah, she she hit it too thin. Yeah. Not full in the face. Well, is there a possibility she was actually trying to make it one? Because she hit it so thin? Like, was she trying maybe? I'm not sure. Trying to get the one in the corner. Are Maybe run into, into the two? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Just yep. needed a small little bump. That was a good attempt. She hit it too, a little bit too thick though. And now she's gonna thin the two ball, maybe going around the ten six. Touchy shot though. She might leave a window oh, here. It looks like there is a window yeah. to me. Yeah, there's a window and this rack is open now. Yeah, going one rail to the center of the table. Make sure not to queue above the five, which is the case. It's not going to be easy to stroke this one. It's a little tricky though, she might have to play a bump on the 8. Or just make the... Or can she just go forward yeah. like soft? Yeah. Yeah, like that. One rail and... Oh, nice. I was gonna say, it does get a little sensitive though, so you will really need to cue nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. If you jab that ball, then usually you put some spin and then it's th you're not making it, guaranteed. So here is going to be a stun run through. Try to go a little bit forward for the five ball on the side. Like that. Mm. Got a little straight on yeah. the five, I feel. Maybe she can just playing high ball, one rail, and try to catch the line. Oh, no. Maybe she has an angle. I was thinking angle. she would be going maybe forward two rails. Oh, she, she has an angle. Oh, doesn't want to be queuing over the A. Again. Oh, <laughs> boy. And she has trouble. And this one is even more difficult, yeah. though, because it got closer to the eight. Mm -hmm. So you need to elevate more. Yeah, depending on the speed she uses, she'll have a some throw had it in it so more often you missed it too thick yeah. oh oh it still went in whoa oh Yvonne already yeah, yeah, got yeah. out of her yeah, chair yeah it's it stays in front of the pocket like one or two seconds like ooh, click that was a good shot i mean not easy Slides to the eight. Yeah, got a little straight on the eight though. I'm not sure how much she can punch out yeah. the rail and get to the center of the table. So she's too straight. I don't mind drawing the cue ball just past the side, get off the rail. No, she was good. Okay. High ball, one rail. Should be okay. Oh, she's using outside to get on the other side of the turn. Yeah, good speed and... Nicely struck. I mean, it's a couple of hiccups though with how... Like with the speed control, she lost the cue ball just a bit here and there. But she made another good run out here. 
Five zero. She's trying to get into some kind of a rhythm, get a little bit more in stroke. So I think this would be the best opportunity to thank our sponsors and partners to making this event happen, of course. So we would like to thank the Predator Group, Richt Wecht, Billiard Sport Academy, Jasmine Ushan and Komori Brand. And with the local support of Klagenfurt Tourism and the region of Carinthia. Thank you so much for supporting this great event so far. And there's so much more coming too. Like it's only going to get better. Yeah, all the finals are on Sunday. So we have plenty of great matches, different divisions, different game. Crazy pool this week. So I'm wondering, is there a 2-8 combo to the same corner as where she's making the 1? Because otherwise yeah. I would stop the cue ball right there. Or what a good there. stroke that was. Or a little back. <laughs> she hit that really pure though. Yeah. That's yeah, she she yeah. was just trying to leave a, a difficult shot though, like fr from here queuing over the eight. That's a smart, really a smart shot. I think she sees the edge of the two, maybe to cut it into the seven. Oh, well she needs yeah. another other reel though. Yeah, that's a foul. So what do, you th what do you think here? I I'd like the I like the save though. Like if I can get the two just to stay just underneath the ten, and then roll up on the seven. Oh, I would go for the two or five combo there. Yeah, you could go aggressive. I just think getting on the seven ball would. Be be a pretty tough challenge to for later. Now, would have liked to take away the top short rail though. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, so if she makes the 10, it's not going to be a win because that's the WPA rules. Yeah. Only in the Pro Billiard series, that would mean it would be a win. A win. Yeah. There is a scratch though, like let's say she hits the side of the two she can go off the ten and scratch whoa I didn't even think she could m she could do this yeah so that's two fouls in a row she might just play three fouls here well it looks like she's going for a combo she's gonna like the run out Yeah, I mean, going from the 4 to the 5 could be an issue. Well, and then also from the 5 to go back up. I think I would leave myself the cut on the 5. Yeah. But then still, after you will have to get from the 6 back down again That's for the 7-2. So this could be really tough, though. She's going to be on the rail. Yeah, just roll the 4 and cut the 5 in. Yeah, she's got like a diamond of space to land in, so still plenty of room. And then she could cut the five using left English, killing the cue ball. But then the six to the seven is a tough work too. She's 
she she has to find a good angle on the, on the six to go to the seven. Oh, she needs it to go. She's got a little straight here. Yeah, but maybe she can draw back directly into the nine, for example, you know. I don't know the exactly the angle she has. Well, that's the thing. She could also be drawing right towards the ten, and that would be no no good, so. Oh, yeah. that's a good shot. Yeah, good speed. Then again, some more traveling to do, though. Mm -hmm. She'll have to cut the eight and come back down for the nine. Go two rails forward. Yeah, that's perfect. This is really nice position play from Shu. It looks like she's going to close out this rack to extend her lead to 6 0. Nice run out from there. Starting with the 2 10 combination. Yeah, that makes her on the hill as well. Yeah, yeah and just just the beginning was a little strange for her, but I think afterwards she is picking up the pieces pretty good. Yeah, especially the last run out, like touchy shot on the five, and then good draw shot on the six to get position on the seven. Here's Shane van Boning waiting to play his next match on this TV table. After. Still breaking from the same spot. Also was a square hit and good hit, but again, a little lack of energy into the balls, so they are not. Sp they didn't spread like. Good. Hasn't really left something easy on the one ball though. Yeah, uh, she she She's has called the one ball in the corner, but this is a tough shot. Actually, the two ball is hanging, so if she makes the one, there are good chances for her to see the two as she goes back and forth toward the long rail and long rail. It's a really tough shot though. Well, straight in the hole and got on the two ball. This is a great opener. Wow, that was a shot. Well, she did need a little bump on the eight, though, to get for the two. But besides that, she played a beauty of a shot. Perfect shape on the three, right angle to go down table to the four. Oh, a little bit more angle than, than she was trying to do, I think. Yeah. Or that's how I feel like, just would have liked to be more straight. Now she might have to run into the seven, bump the that's seven That's a possibility, soft. yeah. A little soft stun. Oh, she's locked the five ball up and pff, almost scratched as well. Yeah, she went a little bit too far on the f on that ball, on the four ball. So she was actually she was really in trouble, and she underestimated the fact that she had to go. She had to draw the ball into the seven. Now, what do we have? Uh, 
I think you could just kick at that ball and create distance between the two balls, sending the five ball towards the ten. Yeah, if you catch the right side, the five is going to go over the seven to the short wheel. Yeah. I think that's your best option, yeah, like this. Like and that. Yeah, that's a good hit. Good I mean. dis distance, and that seven ball came to the rescue as well. Yeah, that's a good shot. I mean, she couldn't do more than this. Yeah, I think this was probably the best result she could get. Yeah. Plus, she had the snooker, so... Called a five in the corner. She's trying to go one rail at it. I might like the two rail better. No, she's going two. Oh, she's going one rail, okay. And it's the five to go. No, it's open and the rack is up for the taking. Yeah, I roll that five ball with a little bit of a left English to go to the long rail, just like that. Yeah, nice bump on the eight ball as well. Perfect on the six. Now. I don't know if she has the right, uh, quite of an angle of this on the six to go to the seven. She looks like it's straight, but maybe with a high ball, she can force it to the long rail, like that. Just wants to stay away from the rail, though. Yeah. That makes the shot a lot tougher, but then she has to go all in for it. Elevate a little bit. Stay down and stroke it. Wow, she rolled it. I don't like that because you are supposed to play like two or three tough shots in a row. You know. Well, that th the good thing though is the seven and the eight. You just play pocket speed. Yeah. Like especially this eight, like it's gonna be playing so huge if you play it small speed here. Oh, she's overcut it and. Yeah, that was a tough shot. I mean, you're like far away, near the r near the long rail. I would have liked to to force the seven and to recover on the eight. So cross side bank. Nice Down shot. Here. We'll need another good shot though on the nine. Yeah, that's tough to hold the cue ball there. Yeah, I mean, could have taken the risk to draw also, maybe two rails, but then usually the, the accuracy on the bank gets yeah. a little less, so... Hmm. She's all right, though, if she makes a nine, guaranteed to be on the ten. Just goes a little far. Yeah, she hit it a little thin. The nine ball went thin, so... Cube will travel a little bit. And there it is. So she gets the first game on the board. Ivana Uman Hibler. Trading six game to one. I mean, a comeback starts with just one wreck. Yeah. So even if those alternate break format does not allow as much as the winner break format the comebacks, but still. So a lot of other matches being played at the moment. On the other table, Seo Seya has beaten Bojana Saraj 7-0. So that's a pretty big surprise. Pan Xiaoting also 7-0 with Manal Al Kalaf from Kuwait. You have also another big match on the loser side, Yasmin and uh, Anna Gradinic. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to mention Gordisnik, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, quite some good players are in the loser bracket already. So it shows that the field is strong this time. Pretty nice break. Just, just really no ball wanting to go. It's not easy to push out here because the, the one ball is wide in the open and unless you find a way to tie up two balls or to leave a, a kick or a safety, it's really not easy to find a good push out though. Yeah, I'm gonna wonder what he's what she's about to play here, though. Can she? She goes offensive. She goes for the bank. At least play at the speed. That if you don't make it, then yeah. you can maybe get the three six seven involved. Yeah, like this. Uh, it's a little bit too firm, yeah. but you get the point. Like it's, I think I she play with a positive speed. Still containing. Now use the 9 and the 10, play a containing again, slow roll the 1, oh, she hit it too thick but she's got away with it. And this is a kind of situation where it's actually it's hard to hit it and get good result because you have to go short rear and then yeah she called it on the side. Maybe if she plays a pretty soft base, she can get the cue ball behind the three. Yeah. She will really need a decent hit, though. Oh, well, she's that almost made it try, in, the yeah. in the side, yeah. Too firm, though. But that was really a good hit. For me, it's hard to see if the one ball passes the four. The two ball passes the five though, even if it's not full pocket, but yeah, I think it goes, yeah. Now that three ball is tricky though to get on. Yeah, because she has a long shot on the two and she has to force the shot to go to the center of the table for a cut on the three, so. This is a long, tough shot that needs power, accuracy. Yeah, big stun here. Yeah. Well, actually, she hit it too good. Yeah, maybe she well wanted to go yeah on this yeah side. Yeah, I, I like it. I like yeah. the fact that she went here. She's got perfect too. Yeah, like she's got perfect angle on the three. This is a big shot here. Really she nice. She really needs to stun off the rail, maybe half a diamond, and then she can go two rails from the four to the five. Could also stun more and go one reel towards the yeah. five, but I'd rather just make sure I make the ball instead yeah. of unnecessary stunning. So top left, two rails. To the center of the table. Came up a little bit short, but still has the window in between the seven, eight to reach the six, so should be okay. She'll be on the wrong side of the six, though. She will go down table, but I think she's okay. Yeah, I'd rather stay high and make sure I get something on the six and draw. And now if you get behind the eight, you know, it's still risky. Like once in a while you are going to be drawing too short. And yeah. now 
So I like this. You can go top spin with inside with right spin and go long rail, short rail, and straighten up back to the seven. Yeah. Maybe more stun with the spin, but same idea. Oh, she's lost the cue ball quite a bit. Hit that really firm. Yeah, she still has a shot, a long shot on the seven. Just Guaranteed that we have the eight in the side yeah. if she makes it. Absolutely. Good shot there. Yeah, she just started a little late this match, though. Like, she, in the beginning, was struggling. Now she's actually starting to run a couple balls. You can see she gets more comfortable. Yeah. Better rhythm. Yeah. Still tough, though, this. I'm thinking, can she go top spin and go around the 9-10? She's playing draw. She still has her extension, I guess. Oh, played it nice, just... She hit it so firm. Yeah. She really did that stroke out, yeah. So she's gonna cut the nine. I think the 10 is also, if she makes the nine, I think she also makes the 10, which will spot back up. Steven Bolet, Chan Jung Lee, please proceed to table 12. Oh, so close. Oh, and, well, that 10 ball came to the rescue right there. Oh, she called the the long bank shot here. She only sees the right it's side of the uh, of the nine, so this is a tough one, though. I don't know. She might be on the double kiss, so if she hits it thinner with a lot of inside, maybe yeah. she can push some angle out. But good shot. Oh, such a good try. Good effort. So close, look at this. Just hangs up and stays right there. And this is not easy with when Ooh, you have yeah, the ball hanging. She jacked up so bad and she caught it real thin. Leaving her a long 10 ball to try to tie the match six game to two. Where's the cue ball? The cue ball is alright, it's just that the temp basically left. Yeah, it's a long diagonal shot where she just can like elevate and going for a stop shot. Which is a technique. Yeah, there it is. So Chiyo Chu wins 7 1, advances to the next round. Which sure that we're gonna see her tomorrow so th our next match is gonna be in 15 minutes we'd love to see you there again we're going to switch from 10 ball to 8 ball men yeah so this was benjamin abel hassan and myself tim the writer thank you and we'll see you
Shane Van Boning, Daniel Ludenberger, please proceed to tables two.